So far, our programs have run one line at a time. The computer has basically stepped through the instructions and carried them out in the order that you've typed them. But to make programs seem a bit more intelligent, we can start to get them to respond to different events by using a technique called selection. Now, selection works on the idea of if, and then there's a check called a condition, then we do this, else um, we do something else. So, for example, I'm looking out the window in the morning and I'm trying to decide whether to take my umbrella or not. I see, I do a conditional check. I say, if weather equals rain, take umbrella, else leave umbrella at home. So my conditional check was true or false, weather equals rain. It was either raining or it wasn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to write our first if statement now. Now I've stripped this right back. We're not using variables yet. We're just going to use some numbers. So to code your selection statement, you go if, and then you put your conditional check. So I'm going to put if 9, and then I'm going to put an operator. Now, these are logical operators, and the ones you can use in Visual Basic are here. Equal to, greater than, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. And this one here means not equal to. That's really useful when we start combining this with strings and quizzes later. Um, so if I say, if 9 is greater than 10, then... And I press enter and it ends my if. I'm going to have an output there, so console.writeline. And I'm going to have the output, the number is bigger. But then, 9, this may not be greater than that. In this case, it's not. So I want something else. I want another situation. So I'm going to put else. And then underneath that, you notice I don't put a check after else. I don't put a conditional check after else, only after the if at the moment. I'm going to have that same message, but say the number is smaller. So, what will happen is, my, my computer will run through this code, it will perform this check. If 9 is greater than 10, then it will do this line, and it will display this message. Else, if it's not, it will skip to the else and it will do this line and display this message. So in this case, 9 is not greater than 10. This check is false, so it should go to the else and display the number is small. Let me just put in a console.read line at the end so it stops. Run my code. And I should get that the number is smaller once my program decides it's going to run. There we go, the number is smaller. So it's not done this command, the number is bigger, because that check was false. Just have a look now at the syntax. If, check, then, thing to do. Else, new line, other thing to do, and end if, at the very end. So anything between here and here will be subject to that check. Have a play around with different numbers in here. In fact, let's change it now. If 10 is greater than 9. So now I should get the number is bigger. There we go. I get that last message instead based on the conditional check we've just done. So have a play around with the numbers, make sure you're using greater than, less than, equal to's as well, and change the messages accordingly. And when you're confident you can use those conditionals operators, and here they all are again, when you're confident you can use those conditional operators, move on to the next video.